Imagine traveling 350 kilometers in just 40 minutes or covering 500 kilometers in a little over an hour. This is the bold vision behind Japan's new maglev train project, one of the most advanced and ambitious rail systems in the world. Spanning 286 kilometers with nearly 90% of the route running underground, this high-speed rail system aims to revolutionize travel times. Using magnetic levitation to lift trains off the track, the maglev promises speeds of over 500 kilometers per hour, eliminating friction and drastically cutting journey times. But with enormous costs, environmental challenges, and complex engineering hurdles, the question remains, will this futuristic project truly deliver on its promise to transform the way people travel? In Japan, a pressing issue has been the growing congestion along the major travel routes between Tokyo, Nagoya, and Osaka. These cities are central to Japan's economy, and the increasing demand for faster, more efficient travel has strained the existing rail networks. The current system, while advanced, struggles to meet the needs of a growing population and evolving transportation requirements. The challenge wasn't only about increasing capacity, but reducing travel time significantly between these key cities. In the 1970s, Japan embarked on a quest to solve this issue. Research into a cutting-edge technology began to build a faster, more efficient mode of transport that could operate in all weather conditions. The need for speed and efficiency led to the concept of a new rail system that would take passengers between Tokyo and Nagoya in less than 40 minutes and eventually from Tokyo to Osaka in just over an hour. This bold vision culminated in the development of the Chuo Shinkansen, a groundbreaking magnetic levitation maglev train system. Testing began on a dedicated track, and over the decades, engineers refined the system to the point where it could handle commercial travel. The route, largely underground, would span 286 kilometers, with nearly 90% of it tunneled through the mountains and urban landscapes making the project a massive engineering challenge. With construction beginning in 2014, this ambitious project aims to reshape Japan's transportation landscape. However, it's not without its obstacles, primarily the high costs and environmental concerns. As this futuristic train system slowly takes shape, many wonder, how do these revolutionary trains actually operate? Spanning over hundreds of kilometers, this state-of-the-art system involves a network of tunnels, viaducts, and underground stations, all designed to allow trains to travel at speeds exceeding 500 kilometers per hour. The majority of the railway's initial phase will be built underground, with about 90% of the line from its starting point to the first major city on the route running through tunnels. This decision is driven by both environmental and topographical factors, as the route cuts through mountainous regions. The construction of these tunnels is a significant undertaking, with some sections reaching over a kilometer in depth, making it the deepest railway tunnel in the country once completed. This underground alignment is critical to preserving the environments and mitigating the impact on densely populated areas. Engineers have designed this system to ensure the stability and safety of the railway, particularly in earthquake-prone regions. The tunnels and viaducts are built to withstand seismic activity, with advanced technologies in place to monitor and respond to any movement or instability. The construction materials, including high-strength steel and specialized concrete, are chosen for their durability and resistance to natural forces, ensuring the long-term viability of the project. At the heart of the construction is the railway's innovative propulsion system, which relies on superconducting magnetic levitation. The tracks are equipped with coils, while the trains themselves have powerful magnets installed on their sides. As the train moves forward, the interaction between the magnets and the coils generates a powerful lift, allowing the train to levitate approximately 10 centimeters above the track. 
This eliminates the friction caused by traditional rails, enabling the train to reach extreme speeds while maintaining stability. Constructing this magnetic levitation system requires incredible precision. The tracks must be perfectly aligned to ensure that the magnetic field interactions occur correctly. A deviation of even a few millimeters could compromise the train's ability to levitate and maintain its speed. As a result, the construction process includes continuous monitoring and adjustments to the alignment, ensuring that the tracks meet the stringent standards required for such high-speed travel. Another key aspect of the construction is the electrical infrastructure that powers the system. The train's propulsion relies on a series of linear induction motors, which are installed along the track. These motors generate alternating currents that create the magnetic fields necessary for both levitation and forward movement. The construction of these motors involves the installation of complex electrical systems, requiring careful planning and coordination to ensure that the power supply is reliable and efficient. Additionally, because the train operates at such high speeds, there is a need for advanced braking systems. These include regenerative braking, which converts the train's kinetic energy back into electrical energy that can be used to power the system. The stations along the route are being built with an equally high level of precision. These stations are designed to accommodate the unique requirements of a magnetic levitation train, including specialized platforms and tracks. One of the primary challenges in station construction is the need to minimize disruption to existing transportation systems. Some of the new stations are being built beneath already established train stations, requiring engineers to work around live rail lines. This necessitates careful planning and the use of advanced construction techniques to ensure that current services remain unaffected while the new infrastructure is being built. Moreover, constructing the underground sections poses a challenge due to the complex geology in some areas. Engineers must account for various soil and rock types, which can affect the stability of the tunnels. In regions with loose or unstable ground, additional support structures are required, such as reinforced tunnel linings and ground anchors, to prevent collapse or shifting during and after construction. The train cars themselves are a marvel of engineering, specifically designed for aerodynamic efficiency. Their streamlined shape reduces air resistance, allowing the trains to travel smoothly at high speeds. The construction of these cars also includes significant safety measures, with materials that minimize the impact of vibrations and external forces. In addition, the interior of the trains is designed to provide maximum comfort for passengers, with spacious seating and advanced noise reduction systems to ensure a smooth and quiet ride, even at top speeds. Despite the impressive progress made in constructing the line, the project faces several challenges. One of the most significant issues is the environmental impact of the tunneling process, particularly in regions with sensitive ecosystems. In certain areas, local authorities have raised concerns about the potential depletion of water resources due to the extensive underground construction. This has led to delays in receiving the necessary permits to continue work, particularly in regions where water supplies are already strained. In response, engineers have developed plans to mitigate the impact on water tables, including systems to redirect and preserve groundwater during tunnel excavation. Furthermore, the project's immense cost remains a hurdle. The need for specialized materials, advanced technology, and extensive tunneling has pushed the overall budget into the billions. Despite securing government loans and other financial support, the high cost of construction has led to concerns about the long-term financial viability of the project. The cost per kilometer of this system is significantly higher than traditional high-speed rail projects, mainly due to the complexity of the magnetic levitation technology and the underground alignment of the track. Additionally, the delays caused by environmental concerns and logistical challenges have pushed back the projected completion date of the Chuo Shinkansen to 2034. 
These delays not only increase the overall cost of the project, but also raise questions about whether the system will be able to meet its ambitious goals in terms of speed and efficiency once it's fully operational. The construction of this groundbreaking magnetic levitation railway is a monumental task, requiring innovative engineering solutions, precise execution, and careful consideration of environmental and financial factors. As the project progresses, it continues to face significant challenges, from complex tunneling through mountainous regions to managing the high costs and environmental impacts. However, if successful, it promises to revolutionize travel between major cities, offering a faster, more efficient mode of transportation for millions of passengers. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to turn on notifications to stay updated on our latest content.